Hello. Today I'm going to share my experience with one system called the Lucian Banner uh, Migrate and Upgrade for Banner 8 and 9. Uh, this talk is for Banner team only. Uh, if you do not have any basic knowledge about Banner, you probably don't understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so I will not explain to you all of my terms and BSSB or something like that. So um, this is straightforward. It's a high-level architecture layout for these totally migrate and upgrade tasks. Uh, Bana is used for manage university and college daily operation. Yeah. In this university, what they did is they have a very old database, 11G. 11G, the system is on Red Hand 5. However, everything is supported by workloads, so what we have to do is have to operate the 11 database to 19C database. At the same time, the Linux migrate from 5 to 7. Another thing is this university a long time ago said so they're using database server and job server. Uh, if you don't know the Illusion Bunny, you probably don't know what it is. But it's, it's the one server they host a database and the job server at the same time. They want to separate it. Another one is uh, Illusion Solution Manager, which is uh, using to manage all of the servers in one Bunny system. Okay. Let's see what the whole system looks like. ESM this is a system it is a system to manage the whole servers, right? In the university application side, they have five servers. SSP server is one is very old for Bana 8. MB server is also for Bana 8. Three of the Bana 9 application is going to run on this Tomcat 010203 servers, the five application servers. The total system in university for this upgrade and migrate include a total eight servers, database server, job submission server, and application server, five of them, plus the ESM. For the application, um, SSB, that is the Bana 8 application, self-service, called student self-service systems. INB is the generally is the old Bana 8 applications. So they're running to manage the university uh, daily operation. Three Tomcat, the first one, using code application navigator, Bana 9. The second one will be admin page, is also Bana 9. The third one is using four self-service application in Bana 9. Solution Manager is to monitor all the files, systems, and also database servers managed by ESM. So the whole system, what we are doing is, we try to, used to be the database, it is on the same server. We try to separate this one and this one. Move on the Linux 7, when you move the Linux 7, the everything server here has to be switched to the new server. That is the whole, the whole project. Let's see the systems. For current systems, for binary systems, here's the authentication. University is using code SSO managers loaded on the INB server. And also, they have hosted uh, one CES. This survey is generally is developed by Yale University. It's for single sign on something to do with that it. it's very popular using in university and college. When your authentication is done, it will go to the second level. We, that is the web tier. Web tier, there's a five server we talked about before. NB Bana 8, SSB Bana 8, also three Bana 9 servers. 
the issue we're going to do dealing with is on database server. Database server by now is on Linux 5. They have database 11204 Oracle. Also, they have button called Tree. Right? They have a job sub server is for button and the deploy stage area. So everything's on here. We're going to do is try to separate it. Database will be separate from these three part, two servers. Both server will be migrated to the Linux 7. Here is the future application system looks like. Authentication part is no change. Right? Web server side has to change to switch to the new server. Here is change we made. We have a new DB server 001 host the database 19.3, 19C database. We also have another new server called the job server 001. We'll host the banner code tree, job submit server, and also deploy staging area. These two parts are separate. And then the task will be, we have to switch all the application servers part into a new database server job server. This is the one for application system. Let's talk about another system because this system is related to the this A server too, which is upgrade and the patching system. ESM and the Jenkins is the using for managing the whole server upgrade and patching. Because we did change the database separate, and then we have to see how can we do set up this system here. So if you see the system, it's old system, right? Database on the same server, and then Jenkins will be connect to all of the servers. Jenkins connection, all of servers one by one. And then the job server, job server. There's hard mounted. All of servers will be hard mounted at this job server. So how it was done, the job server can actually push everything to all of application server, make automation happen. This kind of systems. ESM, Jenkinson on the same server, ESM001. So ESM communicates with Jenkinson, and Jenkinson or server or workways, Jenkinson agent. The agent is to load down all the servers one by one. This is how it works. Now, when we separate database, When we separate database, what we have to do is the old part, NB server, SSB server, connect to the ESMs, no change. Also, by the nine servers, application server is no change, right? For the for connect to ESM and Jenkinson server, but we do need to create node in Jenkinson server for this two new database, one database server, one job sub server. So this server is on Linux 7 now. Database will be 19.3, right? So the ESM is going to manage this. We need to create a node on here for this two new node. Replace the old one. Also, we got install Jenkinson slave on server. Set up everything like I needed to communicate between job server, application server, remount it here, and then on this side, it will be post job to application server and old server to be able to make automation upgrade. And patching. 
probably I guess now you got a big picture now so how the things will be done and then this is two part for the application upgrade migrate and also for the ESM modification will be these tasks in this project the project for high level we just give you high level tasks for this product it's a two different things one is high level migrate and upgrade tasks that's for application side another one is for our ESM system reconfiguration so as I told you about it's the two figures you probably already have some idea the first things of course we have to build a new database server Linux 7 and then build a new job summit server on Linux 7 we install 19 C Walker home on a new server arm and restore database from 11G to the old from the old to new servers and we upgrade database from 11G to 19C this is for database server for job server we clone the file system job server from the old to new one job server all the trees also by the job farm systems on the job server there are two user one is a banner another one is a band jobs and rebuild the job server install 19c client rebuild the job server install ICU we're going to use the ICU 52 rebuild the job server we install the COBO which is needed for compile and the C compiler recompile all the C script and COBO script set up and job environment process start up and stop so job server setup is finished here the next one Tomcat server reconnect to application to the DB server the new one right? the second application is admit page connect to the DB server the third one is a self-service connect to the database on the new server another two part is to, we cannot get rid of it right now which is an old banner A and B server we need to change the connection to the database and then also modify data source in web logic SSB modification we call this that called the dads.configure to the new database TS names connect to the new database and then another part is the SSO manager SSO manager is a single sign on using the university so this one there's two user connect to the new database that has to be modified also another part is the code have a code DBMS system that one extender server has to be connected to database 2 finally the reporting system they use the discovery needed to be connected to the new database this part of the application the whole task will have to down with this uh, uh, system change another is the ESM change as I mentioned Illusion Solution Manager is to, to use the manager all of the servers in the whole university so for ESM we need to add one the new database server Linux 7 and the new job server Linux 7 Jenkins and the DB node will be added the DB node also job sub node in Jenkins server we install the Jenkins slaves on the new DB server and also we install on the job server Jenkins slaves we clone the file system a job server from the old to new one which is dealing with the staging area 
and modify the file, the new job server to connect to database. So mount it, there should share the how the system was doing is because from job server to application server they mount at each other as I showed you before here. So we have to remount all the servers to this job server. What happens if, say, Jenkinson will be talk to the slave server here, tell them, hey, we want to submit some jobs, right? Those jobs will be manipulated here to do some preparation, and then this job will be sent to the each server to run in there. This is how it happened. So here, so we have to remount this one to the job server. Tomcat to the job server and three. So, IMP server and SP server is more complex, but I just list here. This task will be not only mount, but and set up SSH connection. There's a lot of work to do with this both. So, this is a high level the whole project. In the future, when project goes, I, I'm going to update some detail for all of them steps one by one if possible thanks for listening see you later bye